Hey everybody, welcome to part one of our little how-to on creating your own, your own home lab for cybersecurity. So we're going to do a few things today just to do a quick setup. Um, we're going to be installing Kali Linux and Metasploitable. So first thing we're going to be doing, going to VMware Workstation. It's a free download to use for non-commercial. So the link, I will be posting it on the description. So this is fully free when you do non-commercial uh, licensing. So pretty simple. Go to the website, do the download here. Give it a bit to download and do an install. It's a normal install, just pretty much default. Here, we can just go ahead and click Next. Agree to the agreement. Go ahead and click next. Over here, another agreement. I want I, I uncheck the join the communication of uh, the community. Your little desktop shortcuts and let it install. It takes a little bit. I, f I fast forward this part, so give some time to install. So once it's installed, you want to open it up. This is where you will be asked to put in the license. And you could just simply click on non commercial use and you could use it for your home labs. Mind you, you should have a pretty good PC because creating some VMs, it will use your resource. So, right here, let's go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and get Kali Linux to do. Or cybersecurity learning. So I use Kalinux Purple. So you could easily just go through, go to Google and just type in Kali Linux download. I put purple. <coughs> Click on the link there. You go ahead, scroll all the way down. You'll see the download. You could download it straight from the site or use a torrent. I just use a site, it's a lot faster. It's a pretty big file, so I'll give it some time. It's about three gigs right there. So while that's downloading, go ahead and get Metasploitable 2 also. This will be our system that we can't test with. Just go ahead and type Metasploitable. ISO download. I use SourceForge to download it. And it's a pretty big file so also. Simply just click the download here. And right there. You want to unzip it. And open it up. And these are the files you could use for the VM. <clears throat> so it's easy install. You could go ahead and just open a virtual machine option by clicking open virtual machine, browsing to the location of your unzip file, and click on the VMX file, and that's it. Just go ahead and start it up. <clears throat> and I clicked on I copied it this will run through a quick install and we could leave this running and we this is a great little server that you could test pretty much anything on your server security penetration testing different tools on it so as it's going through the startup process and the default login is MSF admin with the password MSF admin all lowercase. And that's how you log in to Metasploitable 2. And it's pretty quick to set up. It took about five minutes. <clears throat> Do a quick IP config to see our IP right there. It's 192.168.189.149. So we'll be using that IP. 
So now our Kali is done. Let's go ahead. We can go ahead and install Kali Linux. And all these, I left the requirements uh, normal by default. <coughs> so we're here. We just click on Create New. We're gonna look for the ISO that we downloaded. It's just right there. You can put the location anywhere you want. Switch it to Linux. And I picked Ubuntu. Next, next. Uh, you could up to you on how big the space. Default is fine, but I just put 60. Go ahead and click next. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think I was switching between 60 and 20, but I went through with 60. Finish. Everything default seems okay. Let's go ahead and let's start installing. This does take a little bit to do the install. <coughs> go ahead, follow default graphical install. Let it boot up. At certain points, I'll be speeding it up a bit because it does take a while. I don't want you guys to sit there and wait. We're here, picked English, United States. American English for your keyboard and it'll go through a little install let it run I sped this up for you guys and you can name it whatever you want <coughs> just left it I should I changed it to apex slt apex cali sorry our domain is apexslt.com and you can put whatever you guys want to put <coughs> make your root admin username and a password so I made something for easy for me and I'm in Pacific And this will take a little bit. I fast forward this a lot for you. This probably took about 30 minutes. I keep that as default, entire disk, default, continue. I put it default because recommended. Again, default. Here I'll put yes to write over the disk. That's where the install is going to start. And we'll start installing and then continue default again. I'm gonna speed this up. This took a while. Click yes, and then I put on dev SDA. So we want to pick that. <coughs> and it should go through. Almost done. This is the last part just go ahead and click continue to reboot and that's it as it's rebooting now we could kind of start testing once it boots up we'll do a few um, testing with Metasploit so we kind of show you what it can do with this little live environment login as your root let it load up and we could easily load up terminal. Nmap uh, usually is the main tool that we're going to be using on this lab. So let's go ahead and double check our IPs. 149.149 is the IP there. Let's make sure our Kali is on the same network. <coughs> yep, 189.149. One five zero. So let's do some quick and map scans on there to show you what could be possible. So let's kind of scan our metasploitable the end map and IP address. This will just scan metasploitable too, and or pretty much sorry the the whole network of the one four nine IP. So it sees the 149, 149 IP address and other ones that there, 189.2.
sorry, I misspoke, and it's, it scans the whole network of the 192.168.189. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and scan, do a quick scan. This scans everything that's listening, so it doesn't take too long if it's a big network. <clears throat> and it'll show you what's up and running. Those are the ones that are currently listening, so it doesn't scan for ports. So this is a quick way to work with a home lab to learn some security, uh, cyber security. So hopefully you enjoyed this. We're going to be doing some more as I'm doing, doing some more uh, NMAP in the background here. So uh, give us a follow. We'll be doing a lot more with this lab setup and installing other things. Thanks. Bye.